Good morning, everybody. This is Miss Morrow at College Street Elementary, and today we are going to do some first grade supertizing. So in this number talk today, if you're watching this at home, when you think you see a number that you know, you're going to give a thumbs up. You might see more than one number that you know. So if you see two numbers that you know, you can show two fingers because you know two numbers. And you might see three numbers. You can show three if you see three numbers. And today we're going to be doing a little bit of subitizing. Who remembers what the word subitize means? So subitizing is knowing what a number is without having to count it. So for example, if you were looking at this number, do you know what this number is without counting the dots? Let's look at the parts. What, how many do you see on this side? Did you say four? How many do you see on this side? Did you say three? Now you might have to count the dots one by one to tell what they are, and if so, that's okay. But if you could tell that this was four and this was three without counting the dots, then you were subitizing. The more we practice looking at numbers and figuring out how many there are without counting, the better we get at subitizing. And then once we know the parts, we know this side is four and this side is three, then we can tell the whole. And if I have four and I have three, I know that that is seven. You'll also see that this ties into the one more and one less conversation that we had in our other number talk because this one is one less than a double. If there was a dot right here, I would have four plus four and that would be eight. So I know four and three is one smaller than eight because it's missing this one right here and it's seven. Okay, so we're going to be doing some quick subitizing. Can you tell how many there are? Let's look at it in parts. How many is on the top? How many is on the bottom? How many does that make all together? Let's try another one. Can you tell how many dots there are? Let's look at it in the parts. How many are in the middle? How many are on the sides? How many is that all together? Here we go. Can you tell the whole? We can break it down into parts. You could look at one side and the other side. You could look at the bottom and the top and then put those numbers together. Talk out loud about what you see. Oh, this is a good one. How many is on the top? How many is on the bottom? Or you might notice we've seen that number before. And then look at that side. And then you can put them together. Let's try another one. My pages got stuck. Let's try another one. Ooh, this one's interesting. Maybe you see it like this. This one looks familiar. And this.
Remember, you can talk about the whole that you see. You can talk about the parts and break it up into the parts. So you might see one number, you might see two numbers, you might see three numbers. So for this one, I see five and three, and I know that makes eight because I've shown five and three on my fingers before and I know that makes eight. Let's keep going. Remember you're looking to see if you see one number, two numbers, or three numbers. Okay, that's it for our subitizing practice today. We will come back in another video and talk about some more ways that you can look at part, part, and whole and put those numbers together.